boy! Sheee! That's sick, that's so sick. Hi guys, and welcome to another vlog. This is episode 3 of the drum break to disc break swap and I mean conversion. And today we're gonna swap it out. Finally, we're gonna get rid of, of this old drum brakes and install new uh, disc brakes calipers and the whole rear end gonna be new the whole rear subframe uh, the rear beam the rear axle whatever you want to call it it's gonna be new and on my 206 so we got a lot of work to do so let's go okay guys so I have uh, detached uh, the brake cable so you you remove this unit here and then here are the brake cable hand brake cable or parking brake cable that are attached to the hot hand brake and just uh, undo them and now we can go to work under the car but first we need to remove wheels then jack up the car get it secured and then we can go under the car a few inches later okay guys so we have taken out the exhaust because it's on the way and uh, this pipe as well so now we have all this room for activities and now we need to uh, unbolt this bolt here because we're gonna be using this part uh, then we need to unscrew here and follow this line so we can unscrew this line here uh, then we ha then we will have the full brake system uh, off so not connected then we can take out these uh, brake lines uh, for the parking brake and then we have everything and we can unbolt this bolt here and this bolt over there same on this side and uh, the rear axle can go out so let's do this Okay, so, oh, so we done that, now the brake lines and then the bridge, yeah, let's, let's do this guys, let's do this. Okay, maybe you're asking yourself why I'm having these two cans here, well, now we're gonna undo the brake line and I don't want to the brake fluid to get all over the ground so the second I will undo the brake line I'm gonna put it here in the can and uh, zip tie it so it can stay freely on its own here so I can go uh, back to work on the other thing so yeah let's do this Oh, 
okay actually it's not that much oil dripping as I thought but yeah okay guys so a couple of hours later it's ready to go out and I'm gonna unbolt the main bolts of the axle and get it out And it's out! Woo! Woo! That was intense. But it's out. And we are halfway to go. So here guys you can see the old whew, the old Excel and the new one that is ready to go on the car. Amazing! It was intense because I didn't know how hard actually it is I mean I have my doubts but because I carry this one so I thought I can carry this one and actually it, this one is a lot easier than that one but yeah A few moments later. Okay, guys, the Excel is in. As you can see, the Excel is in, the shocks are installed, and now we can move on to the um, brake lines and etc. Okay, so. Okay, so everything is connected, all the lines are connected, and uh, yeah, now we are ready to go and uh, 
install the pads and the brake discs and put the brake oil, brake fluid in and then we are ready to bleed the brakes and to go for a test drive so yeah, uh, it's very hot outside, I'm very sweaty and very thirsty so I'm gonna take a break and do it a little bit later one hour later okay guys, so update on the progress here we have installed the brake disc and the brake pads and now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here so here is the brake disc on and I'm gonna show you how to put brake pads on and then we can uh, bleed the brakes and put on the wheels and go for a test drive it's been amazing to do this and very very good experience I learn very much and yeah let's move on so it is in and now we can put the next one okay so as you can see the pad is pretty loose still because we have this part and it goes here beneath so you need to lift caliper a little bit more and then So the process is the same on the other side. Okay. After you did that, you have this small uh, safety pin, and you have two holes here on this slider, so you need to put it all the way back and, uh, and put it in the one of the holes like this and then you have this pin and just and it just put it inside Okay, so safety pin is in and that's it and that's how you install your pads installing this brake is pretty easy just remove this caliper with these two bolts and you take out the old brake disc and put the new back in so yeah the swap is now complete conversion is complete now we can lead the brakes and do some small stuff and go for a test drive this is filmed a couple of days later after installing a new uh, rear beam on the car because it was late first of all it was late I was so tired and um, I have to bleed brakes my own after a couple of days I go to my friend's shop to bleed the brakes once again properly so I can do the test drive as it should be done and brakes work phenomenal it's amazing uh, we have only one problem and that's it's tall AF it's so tall look at this <laughs> look at all this space I mean compare this rear to the front it's so weird but yeah uh, rear end needs to be lowered and then it's gonna be amazing as hell uh, let me show you how the under side uh, looks it's, it's crazy look at this So 
thousand times everything was on the line didn't want to be the one who had a okay guys are you ready for this this is absolutely insane look how awesome that looks look at this look at this it's so clean it's crazy here it's exhaust but yeah look at it it breaks phenomenally I'm so amazed how these brakes work right now I I can't wait to lower this thing down and give it a proper go uh, I have one more project to do on this car and then we will be ready for the next track day I hope so yeah uh, this has been amazing uh, thing to do amazing experience I learned a lot and I hope uh, you guys too so I hope you got all your information that you needed from these uh, three episodes that I did on this rear axle and um, I hope you this will make you to do some something like this uh, your own to try it your own because as you guys can see it's not that hard you just need to be uh, very patient and hardworking to do things like this so yeah it looks amazing I hope you guys like this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps this channel a lot it's gonna help this video a lot so yeah subscribe if you didn't by now help me this channel to grow a little bit more audience and uh, then I could do more things like this so yeah thank you guys one more time for watching this video and I see you in the next one until then peace